Uh, we're back in the shop. Obviously, slightly different video because on Saturday at the car boot, I come across a load of records, a load of records, right? And there was some amazing stuff in this collection. And there's a lot of footage. And because I knew there was some good stuff, I had to spend more time looking for records than the usual traditional trainers and, you know, other car boot stuff that I go to the car boot for. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to not use that footage in the, the usual car boots, uh, car boot footage, and I'm going to make its own video, because not everyone likes looking for records for a start. Not everyone enjoys the record content. So I'm just going to make a specific video on me going through that collection, uh, flicking through the records. Um, I might flash up on screen what their estimated value could be worth for some of them, not all. Um, so yeah, here's me going through an amazing Northern Soul. I mean, Northern Soul, to even say I found some Northern Soul at Car Boot. I found some Northern Soul at Car Boot. And um, there is one absolute diamond in there. So come dig Northern Soul, Funk Soul, Reggae with me at the Car Boot. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I just had a laugh over there. That, like, no, the laptop is here. The record dealer over there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just out of interest. Try to charge me 120 quid for a few, yeah. like six reissues. <laughs> so she can put them back as well. What what got what what's brought you over this neck of the woods? Oh, mate, I've been up since about three. I used to do boots every Sunday, yeah, mate. I used to be really, really up for it, but I said to the missus this morning, I'm I'm Gary, I've been to one for so long. Oh, I don't know. That's the one. These two there's there's like a lot of soul and disco. Too long. Down, yeah, no worries. Thank 
Okay. Come here. They put everything the same. Yeah, yeah then.
time watching the end of it. I've, I've got a quarter stack, I ain't counted it yet. Here, yeah, it? I know. I don't know enough really, but I think I'm just here. looking at the labels really. I saw some promo ones. Yeah. Whether they're any good, I don't know. Well, it's just worth a quid, isn't it? Even if you just learn something from it. Oh, yeah, yeah, Kills your back, doesn't it? Find the original Sex Pistols, six thousand press and let me know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
How much are the little ones? 50p. 50p? Alright, let me count them. I'll they're, count. They're, they're one pound. One pound, yes, fine. I'll just, let me count them up. 5, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 68, 50 quid? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, There you are. Thank you. Thanks a lot, cheers. And there you have it, man, oh man, oh man, like, that was just house clearance guy, black bin liners of singles, a load of 12 inch, 12 inch were in the best condition, the singles were in a much better condition than 12 inch. Um, so, my thoughts, I mean, as you know, I'm no expert on records, but I do see a lot of singles so my thinking in my head was if we don't know it i was just looking at labels not the not the songs the labels only uh there was a lot of labels in there i didn't know so i went i went with my instinct and thought haven't seen that before haven't seen that before unsure of that label unsure of that label so there's probably many of you that were screaming at me pick that one up pick that one up and you know it is what it is this is what I got. And I think I've done okay. Um, there was a lot of stuff there. And I know some of you will also say, well, if that was me, I would have just bought the lot. Well, you would have ended up with a lot of stuff that's practically worthless. And also, pe other people are going through that collection. There's a guy to the left of me and a guy to the right of me. So what are you going to say to them? So I stop looking now. I'm buying everything. It doesn't work like that. So... Um, you know, I was cherry picking. Um, yeah, so I think I've done okay. Um, I've split them into um, the stuff I don't, the stuff I'm gonna eBay and the stuff I'm not gonna eBay. So stuff for the shop. Um, yeah, so I'm not gonna go through them because you've just literally seen everything that I got. Um, there's some really good stuff there. Um, yeah, some of it unfortunately had its uh, name on there. Um, but these were the these were the gems or these were the more expensive stuff again like look at the i was just looking at the labels um jimmy ruffin maria you were the only one um i'll show you the one in here which is gonna um make the most of it glades and although they were sort of all over the place they're in a they're in pretty good condition well especially the main one wayne gibson under my thumb these were weird this was the one clarence murray clarence murray dancing to the beats and let's get on with it clarence murray the average the average price of this on discogs is £375 on average. I paid 50 pence. Um, <laughs> so, I'm thinking, oh, was there more of this kind of stuff? That's what I'm thinking. I shouldn't think like that because, you know, I've done okay, you know. I'm happy I got one that's like, you know, a mega, a mega one. Um, very, very, very rare Northern Soul single. And like, again, I just went with my gut. It's in that SS International label. I went for it. Um, oh, sorry, there's a couple of them. Again, like, 
Start with the big eyes, Primo. Copy. Some more here. Um, Solomon, Bunny and the Whaler. Solomonic. Don't usually see that in the shop. Um, Licorice Soul, never seen that one. Blue Beat, see that all the time. So any sort of a Blue Beat um, label, pick that up. Never seen this one before, Arab. It's, it's a, this is a bit beat up, to be honest. It's going to need a, a bit of a clean, a few scratches. Uh, but an Arab label, uh, Dub Talent Crew, and that is from... Oh, there's no year on it. It's a reggae track anyway. Look, studio. First studio. Studio first, sorry. Um, need to clean. But I might, might just get away with it. Made in Jamaica. Usually it's a, a red label. But again, look, I hardly see any uh, studio first 7 inch anyway. I think this is a no. This is a bossa nova track. I think if when I've done a bit of research, still worth about twenty twenty five quid. Uh, this is again. It's like a rip reprise promo of Life. Tell me why. I don't think it's. I think it's more of a a rock band. Someone bought it for four pound, but I think it's worth about twenty twenty five. Obviously, it's in that clash. Fifty pence. Amazing. It's only about 15 quid. Uh, this is, I mean, <laughs> it even says Northern Soul on its a sleeve. Port Records, something I've never, never seen, never had. Um, and when you when you play that, it just sounds like Northern Soul, like straight away, you can just tell. And um, the Fuller Brothers moaning, groaning, crying on Soul Lock. Times are wasting. Yeah. Like amazing find, um, yeah. So that was that. Um, 50 pounds spent. Um, so there's, I reckon, there's probably, I think, I was tying it up. Um, I reckon there's potentially about 700 pound, maybe 800 pound. In them, in them seven inches, seven inch record, that small collection that I picked up. Um, and like there was people picking out, you know, what they wanted, so God knows what else was there. So, yeah, what do you think? Let me know. It, I hardly ever see Northern Soul ever. So, to have a small collection and it be that rare and expensive is just unbelievable. So, thanks for watching. See you next video. Bye bye.